Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be discussing the seven differences between population distribution and population density. Population distribution refers to how people are spread out geographically, while population density refers to the number of people per unit of land. Firstly, population distribution takes into account the patterns and concentrations of people in different areas. On the other hand, population density focuses solely on the number of people in a given area, regardless of the distribution. Population distribution can vary greatly, with some areas being highly concentrated, while others are more sparsely populated. In contrast, population density is a quantitative measure that calculates the number of individuals per unit area, such as per square kilometer or per square mile. Population distribution considers factors like natural resources, economic opportunities, and physical geography that influence where people choose to live. On the contrary, population density is calculated by dividing the total population by the land area, providing a measure of how tightly packed individuals are in a given area. Population distribution can be influenced by factors such as climate, topography, and accessibility to resources leading to variations in settlement patterns. Meanwhile, population density can be calculated for large regions, countries, or even specific neighborhoods within a city. Another difference is that population distribution can be uneven, resulting in clustered populations, while population density can vary from one area to another. Moreover, population distribution can change over time due to factors like migration, natural disasters, or urbanization. Population density, however, remains static unless there is an increase or decrease in the overall population or land area. Furthermore, population distribution can be studied through maps that show the concentration and dispersion of people. In contrast, population density is often represented through choropleth maps or population pyramids, providing a visual representation of the density values. Population distribution affects the availability and accessibility of services and resources in different areas. Conversely, population density is used to analyze the carrying capacity of an area and inform urban planning decisions. Lastly, population distribution offers insights into the social, cultural, and economic characteristics of different regions. On the other hand, population density is a useful metric for understanding the pressure on infrastructure, public services, and resource allocation. So, while population distribution and population density are related, they are distinct concepts that help us understand patterns of human settlement in different areas. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on population and geography.